Hey everyone, Will here from my flea market finds for August 3rd and 4th, 2013. Uh, I had some pretty good finds over the past week. Um, not as much as I normally get. I'll probably be able to uh, do all this in one uh, in one take. Uh, so uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, I got some uh, video games, something I normally don't buy too much of. But uh, these are in uh, really good condition. No scratches or anything on them. Uh, I got some, uh, where are these, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation games, uh, 50 cents a piece. And uh, probably the ones I'll make out the best on are these uh, Game Cubes. Uh, really good condition. Uh, got everything to them, no scratches. Got them for a buck a piece. I think, uh, I think I saw that Mario Kart go for like 20. Um, so we'll see what we have here. Uh, got a load of uh, German Steins. Um, they had uh, $10 a piece on the big ones and uh, $3 a piece on the little ones. I got everything here for $35. Um, some good quality. Uh, all marked Western Germany. Um, really good condition. He's an interesting guy there. All really good quality. Here's a Kennedy Space Center mug. That's pretty cool. Uh, Archie Bunker for president, uh, the beer party candidate. Um, that should do well. And uh, this one's musical. Um, lots of Stein collectors out there. And uh, like I said, these are in good condition. So not sure what I'll get for them, but uh, definitely some money to uh, be made there. I uh, got a uh, sword scabbard for uh, five dollars. Uh, not sure what it fits, but uh, it's a whole lot of swords out there needing scabbards. Um, that's probably a uh, uh, forty dollar uh, scabbard right there. I bought a World War II helmet. Well, I don't know if the helmet's World War II, but the liner is. Um, I actually paid uh, 35 for this, just uh, mainly because of the liner. It's got the uh, World War II uh, liner. You can tell it's being held together with a little uh, shoestring here. And uh, got the hole in the front. Good condition. Uh, haven't seen a uh, some maker stamp in there somewhere. I'll have to look for it. But uh, lots of times the liners are worth more than the helmet itself. Um, so I'll sell them separate and uh, we'll see what they bring. Got a really nice uh, nice quality 48 star uh, flag made by uh, the Valley Forge Flag Company. Uh, five by eight and a half, nine and a half. So it's probably a uh, burial flag. Um, paid 15 for that and probably get at least 40, probably 50 or maybe a little more. This is pretty interesting. Um, the watch itself is junk. It's just a new Timex. But what I like about it is this wooden... It's a wooden holder for a pocket watch. Um, somebody's got a couple that they carved on there. You can see it's been carried a lot. Kind of interesting looking. Uh, got it for fifteen dollars. Um, like I said, dude, I'm not sure what it what you would call this thing. I mean, what's to me? What's the point of having a pocket watch if you're going to put it in a big clunky wooden thing and carry it around? But uh, um, kind of neat. I, like I said, I've never seen one. And the watch is just a just a new Timex. Nothing uh, special there. But uh, took a chance just for the case. I uh, got a couple decoys. I paid uh, $50 a piece for these um, with the uh, faces. This is a uh, Charles Bryan of uh, Middle River, Maryland, 1980. He died back in uh, 2008. Uh, this is a canvas back, and that should bring 
uh, close to 200 if not 200 for him and uh, this one I believe they call that a pintail uh, carved by lots of shadows on the porch today uh, Captain Harry Job Job's uh, 1976 um, Harry Job's been carving decoys since he was nine years old um, this one I'm thinking about a hundred like I said this one 200 so when it's all said and done I'll take that hundred turn it into three uh, we're right around there I uh, got some more watches this is a uh, I guess that's a man's watch this is a uh, Parker um, not familiar with Parker. Gonna have to uh, look that up. Haven't looked any of these up. This is a uh, Wittenauer, and can't make out the name on this because the hand is uh, um, right in the way of the name. But it says automatic on it, so uh, have to look that up. Uh, the watches were three dollars a piece. Uh, none of them run. A uh, neat little piece of uh, cast iron advertising. Uh, Hunting Ridge Pharmacy. Nice old piece. Seen better days, but uh, got a nice look to it. Uh, cast iron Pelican uh, bottle opener. Just sold a fish bottle opener in my uh, eBay store. Uh, got for 35. Uh, this one, uh, I think I can do about the same for this one. Um, have to look them up first, uh, but. Uh, neat looking uh, cigarette lighter uh, paid um, eight dollars for this and um, that should bring about forty uh, belt buckle nice quality uh, belt buckle from 1983 um, not have to look that up not sure what it'll bring that might be a twenty dollar belt buckle there Unusual little uh, smoking pipe miniature um, that was uh, two dollars. Uh, plenty of room to make some money on that. Check out the uh, school safety patrol badge. Uh, kind of reminds me of a uh, Star Trek uh, uh, badge. Um, I paid uh, two dollars for that. Uh, back here, take a look. Somebody took an old uh, wheel off a uh, tricycle, mounted it on a block of wood. Um, got that for $15. I'm going to put it in my store for $50. Um, it's just a neat old piece. I like that. Um, kind of a uh, bicycle art. Got a pair of uh, bicycle pedals. They're new for a uh, BMX bike. I got an old BMX bike around here needing some uh, pedals, and uh, so I put them on there and put on Craigslist. Uh, get rid of it. Uh, got some knives. I didn't do too good on these. I uh, I paid fifteen dollars a piece for these Gerber multi tools. And I thought they were bringing more than that new. Turns out they're only bringing about thirty five new. So. Uh, um, got the pliers that slide out here. Um, so, probably only get, uh, put them on eBay, probably only get about 25 a piece for them. Uh, nice old, uh, old timer, straight old timer knife. It's not the original sheath. Paid five for that, but that still will bring probably, uh, 20, 25. Uh, guys love the uh, old timer knives. In the boxes are some really big uh, glass uh, Christmas ornaments that I got for uh, $3 a piece, made by Sorel, or is it Sorelli? Same way with, uh, with these, uh, Sorelli uh, Fairies, uh, Fairies pretty popular now, still in the original box with the tags, uh, they had five on them, got them for four. And I think the, the fairies should bring right around 25 a piece. Uh, some more gun stuff. Can't go wrong with gun stuff. 
uh, Glock uh, holster and a uh, AR-15 uh, stock with a uh, uh, buffer tube. I asked the guy how much for these. He said five bucks. I said five each or five for both. He said five dollars for both. So uh, good quality leather Glock holster um, made by Tagua. I don't know. Uh, that's probably a $20 piece there in the stock. Uh, probably about $15, $20. Lots of guys building their own uh, AR 15s now. Uh, neat brass uh, frog outdoor art piece. That was five bucks. Uh, Rolls Razor still with the original box. That was um, seven. I think this is a Purina uh, dog food giveaway. I've seen the salt and pepper shakers a lot, but I've never seen the little wall pocket. That was five bucks. Um, little cigarette dispenser. Um, that was five. Interesting thing here. It's a bank. It's all locked up. But it says it's reading 80 cents. And it's from, it's got a patent date of 1942 on here. Uh, paid $10 for this, but I think it's a good chance that those coins in there might be um, silver. So uh, I'm going to figure out a way to get in there. Um, maybe try to pick the lock. It, I imagine it can't be. Uh, bad to get into and uh, we'll see what kind of coins are uh, rattling around might make a good video uh, got a pair of uh, figure skates reason I got these was they're still in the original box with this guy uh, dick button never heard of him I imagine he was a popular figure skater in his time um, figure skates they're signed they got the sign on there too uh, dick button um, so we'll see um, got the uh, got it for I uh, got five on there got them for four uh, these are pretty neat um, fence posts made out of uh, wrought iron um, got a neat look to them Got uh, four of them here, uh, for and they cost uh, twenty bucks for the four. Uh, couldn't pass them up. I just uh, you think of the history of these things of uh, how old they are. Got to be at least a hundred years old, probably more. Um, somebody could take these, turn them into a plant holder. Uh, I don't know any number of uses, but uh, not sure how I'm going to sell them individually or maybe together. Um, just, you know, when I see this stuff, I think, uh, where'd they come from? You know, was it, uh, part of a, uh, uh, front yard to a house? Uh, you know, think of the history that, uh, um, this, these things I've seen. Um, pretty neat. I don't know, first time I've had something like that, really heavy. Uh, not sure about the shipping on these things. But uh, kind of cool looking. Somebody might want them to uh, redo their uh, fence. Uh, last little bit here. These things are uh, funeral. Uh, I think that's what they're called. I think they're for funeral uh, arrangements. Uh, put their for display uh, flowers. Uh, some good quality, got some age on them, and I paid uh, $15 a piece for these things. Uh, so you're looking at uh, $75 uh, worth of baskets here. Uh, but like this one here, uh, this one's metal with a uh, wooden uh, handle. Uh, love the look of this thing. That, that, that is really a cool piece. Um, I'm gonna put like a hundred bucks 
Just one, this one. These others, not as much. Uh, but, uh, like that one there, probably bring about 40. The metal one here, about 40. That one there is kind of unusual. Might put 75 on that. And uh, the big one there, uh, this metal might bring about 50, I think. Uh, I just don't see these antique uh, uh, flower arrangement baskets uh, too often. Um, so I took a chance on these. I uh, really didn't want, I really don't get to the point where I don't like buying big stuff. Um, but uh, couldn't really pass them up. I just don't see them very often, like I said. Uh, so there we go. Uh, not a whole lot to show you this week, but uh, some good, a uh, few good finds. Um, so check out my store, Terminal 99 on eBay. And uh, we'll get this stuff listed on in the next couple days. Uh, so till next time, it's Will the Yard Sales Survivalist, and we'll talk again soon.